Hey, what's up everybody in the vinyl community? I'm doing another video um, response to Ron Haggerty's Vinyl Sanctuary thread. Uh, he, this time he's got a thread for us to fill out of 10 seafaring bands, albums, songs, or album covers. So uh, a nautical slash sea, water, fishing theme. You get the, you get the drift. Get it? <laughs> Maritime theme. Um, so 10 albums. I went with 10 albums that clearly from the album cover alone, you get the sea nautical theme. I got seven records of vinyls and three CDs for this for this one. And at first I was thinking, oh, this is going to be pretty hard, actually. I'm not sure I, I even have, I couldn't think of really one off the top of my head, but then it started to kind of flow. Went through the record collection. A uh, big range of genres, actually, for this, although some definite metal ones in there, too. So um, I'll just jump into it. The, the top 10, well, 10 records albums in my collection that have a maritime theme i'm going to start off with this guy grover washington jr mr magic so starting off with a little bit of jazz funk fusion this is just a killer album by the way uh it's on kudu which is that sub label of uh cecil taylor and a 1970s uh vibe uh, a little bit of a smoky kind of production feel i always feel the chords was i think Rhodes on here um and just the title track alone, Mr. Magic on side two, uh, is a killer track. There's only four tracks on the whole album, actually. One is 15, 14 minutes long. Mr. Magic's nine minutes long. Just killer groove and sampled a lot, definitely. Uh, those who are into hip-hop would recognize um, the title track, Mr. Magic, right off the bat. Of course, he's also in the pool in the background. Now, he, this could be the pool or it could be the ocean. But either way, it's definitely a water theme. Next up, I got something from the 80s. Definitely on the seaside deal. Could be at a lake. Boz Skaggs, Silk Degrees. This is like, uh, what do you call this? AOR. Uh, rock, pop, jazz rock. I haven't listened to it much, obviously. It's from. It's actually from the 70s, 1976. Boz Skaggs. There's a bit of water there. Uh, this one definitely, definitely hits the water vibe. The soundtrack to Jaws. I uh, can still kind of remember the first time seeing that movie when I was a kid. I think in a drive-in, probably. Richard Dreyfuss, Rob Schreider. Uh, it's a pretty cool soundtrack, actually. You know, besides the uh, cheesy, corny uh, theme song, of course. MCA Records. It's not too long ago. So, that's definitely a water theme. Uh, another one in the water theme, uh, this one, Ty Siegel. Uh, not a record I listen to, I grab too often, uh, but it is on a, a favorite rock label of mine, uh, In the Red Records. I like that label. It's kind of garagey blues rock. So, if you haven't heard Ty Siegel, um, I guess a bit like White Stripes or The Strokes, maybe. Um, maybe even some punky elements too. It's a Ty Siegel record. That's from 2012. It's one of the newest, probably the new newest release in this pile. Uh, something on the dark water front. Uh, Ottawa band, Annihilator from the 80s. The Never uh, Never Neverland album. Um, 1990 actually. This one came out, and this is a. Roadrunner uh, release. That, I got the inner sleeve. I wouldn't say any real uh, water themed songs on this. Uh, Reduced to Ash. Yeah. But definitely a dark, maybe at the lake, right? Kind of a boardwalk there. Boardwalk and water. Uh, a couple more on vinyl. This one might be a little bit of a stretch. I mean, it's definitely a lot of building there, but uh, definitely have the water in the background. Of course, the famous Judas Priest, Sin After Sin. Uh, classic album, Sinner, Diamonds and Rust. Dissident Aggressor. Bit of a water theme there. Yeah. 
Um, this is definitely, I like the Jaws album. This has got water all over it, really. She's definitely getting physical. So this is Olivia Newton-John. Jumping in the water. Jumping in the water with the dolphins. <laughs> I, uh, I completely forgot this uh, second hit on the album. Um, the Promise, brackets, a.k.a. the dolphin song. So she literally has a dolphin song on there. Maybe that was an 80s thing. Um, loving the dolphins. Olivia Newton-John. Uh, so that's seven records in the theme of Water and Aquatic. And then I've got three CDs left. One of which, Ron, you, he had vinyl of it. Of course, I need to get a vinyl copy of it still. Uh, but this was in his list, Holy Diver by Dio. Title track, Holy Diver. Definitely water-themed. Great album. Just a classic album. Uh, this one might be a bit of a stretch. Um, in fact, it's not really an album cover that looks like water, but the title is a little bit maritime -y. Tom Waits, Swordfish Trombones. It's got a fish, fish theme. Uh, also, there's a track on here called Shore Leave. Um, yeah, Rainbirds, Shore Leave, Swordfish Trombones, Tom Waits. Classic Tom Waits. Pretty much the only Tom Waits album I have on CD. I do find a lot of his stuff sounds similar, but I probably could be due for a couple more by him. And then last but not least, definitely a nautical maritime ship theme and an album and a band that I pretty rarely ever listen to. <laughs> this is kind of, this is like something I bought. Uh, it's metal. Something I bought kind of like because it was cheap. Uh, you see it cheap. So Mastodon. I know they're quite... A popular band. It's on Relapse Records. Um, not generally really my my cup of metal. Uh, epic. And lots and lots of nautical imagery and themes going on in this album. It's the Leviathan album. So that is my 10 vinyl and CDs on the nautical theme for Ron Haggerty's Vinyl Sanctuary, a great channel. I watch it pretty much daily. Everybody should check it out and, and go on over there and subscribe too if you haven't done that as well. See you on the next one.